Hi guys, my name is Connor and today I'm going to be showing you how to configure a basketball scoreboard in OBS. So first you're going to select basketball, then you're going to type in the title here, so basketball game and then click create. Next you're going to add your scoreboard overlay, at the moment we've got this red swish and the edge series and then we also have the basketball team lineout. And then we also have some announcement bars. So first you're gonna click add overlay for the scoreboard. You can change the position and scale if you like by clicking this edit button here and then drag and drop and then click save position. You can select the team. So I have the bulls already saved here. You can see it loads both the logo and the text. And then we can say Lakers here and then click crest to upload a crest and then you can upload your crest here you can see i already have the lakers logo uploaded and then you just select it and then click update so it appears on your live stream and then we click go live so we can get a link to copy over to obs so next you click your stream link go over to obs click add source browser click ok and then paste your URL and type width as 192.0 and height as 108.0 and click OK. And you can see your scoreboard appears at the bottom of the screen. Next, we can start the clock and you can see it updates on the stream. You can increase the score and it increases in the live stream. Once the period is over, you can click next period and it'll reset the period and you can start the clock. In the additional settings, you can add a shot clock as well, if you like. You can set the shot clock duration, and you can also set the period length as well. Um, so you can also show or hide the fouls. So I'm gonna show them right now. And then you can set how often they reset. So they can either reset every quarter or every half. And then you can also select how many fouls are allowed each quarter or half. So for example, if you change it to three, you can see there's only three indicators then. I'm gonna leave it at four, or change it to five. And then you can see here when we click foul, you can see the indicator increases by one. And it also shows this notification. So next, I'm gonna hide our overlay and update that on the stream. I'm gonna add basketball team line out. You can see for the bulls, it loads up a line out already because the bulls was a predefined team. So in here you can click create team. You can see bulls has Connor, John, Paul, da Dan, Peter. They're just made up names obviously. We can create a new team, Lakers, and then select basketball, and then purple and yellow we'll say. And then select crest, Lakers, create team. Then click on the Lakers, change the name. So again, I can say, um, I don't know, obviously these are not in order, but we can add five different names. We can probably a forward. Um, and then click save. You can also download the formation here and it'll give you an Excel file. And then you just re-upload that file and it will parse the Excel file and add them in here. You can also change the numbers here if you like. I'm gonna leave them as they are, but you can change them to one, two, three, four, thirty, whatever you want. Um, so yeah, let's go back to our stream. And then here in the Lakers, we're just gonna select that Lakers team. And then you can also select the transition. So let's say for entrance, we can say slide left and exit slide right. And then there you have it. So let's update that on the actual live stream and you'll see that it will update here. And then if we go back and we change the team, we can change the Lakers and then update. And you can see on the live stream, it updates like that. So you can change the background colors and stuff as well if you like, um, you can change it to blue, whatever you like. Um, again, I'm just messing around here. These obviously look terrible. But yeah, you can change uh, those configurations at the moment. Um, we will add more customization as well, so you can change the color of the starting line out. Um, maybe the teams, the team name, um, and maybe customize 
this text here as well. But yeah, for now, that's pretty much everything. I'm gonna hide the team formation again and show the and show the scoreboard and then click update and again there it is on our live stream so thanks a million for watching if you have any questions feel free to comment below or reach out at info at obscoreboard.com thank you